Daytona Beach, Florida. We're back once again, Daytona International Speedway. Tonight is the night of magic lights. Daytona. Now well, we've done this magic of lights three times in the past, the first year, and then we skipped three years, and two years ago, and now two years. To that day, we're back here again. This event was supposed to start Friday the 17th, but it was rained out or flooded out. And you can buy either like an express ticket, they call it the dash ticket, which gets you to the front of the line, kind of like a fast pass or express at a theme park or general tickets. If you buy them online, considerably cheaper than buying them here. Online it was $22, here it would be $35 today. And away we go. Do tune in to a local station so they simulcast like what songs you could be listening to, Holly Jolly style. snowball fight. Mm -hmm.
paid an upcharge amount so you could stop and take photos in this little village area. We're heading in. So the upcharge package allows you to take a couple green screen photos. There's a couple other photo ops here too. It does get a little busy. So I'm gonna head back and wrap our tour. There's concessions here too with like hot chocolate and they have deep fried Oreos. And away we go, part two. Tells you to buckle up, turn on your headlights. Yep. Hey, I'm back from the magic lights actually a couple days later, and uh, to be quite honest, I've struggled with even putting this video together because basically we're just showing you what the lights look like when you're going through on a drive through. Um, and I did post some things to social media like Instagram, and if you're looking for my Instagram handle, it's at KYZMAN. Um, but uh, and folks then sort of hitting me up asking me if the uh, if the event was worth it and i always go back to again worth is relative value to what you're getting out of something but um to me the cost was 22 dollars base ticket price if you're buying the tickets online it was 27 if you want to do that meet and greet or the the not meet and greet but the walk around area and the um, photo ops that we put up previously um but overall uh it's a very short experience it's essentially like a 20 minute drive through of lights that you probably would see if you lived in like uh brooklyn or some of those more popular area populated areas rather where um there's houses with tons of of christmas lights on them and stuff it's a nice display um and it's a nice night out um, but it's kind of like one of those things that's in addition to like so if there's something else going on that you're in that area i'd say it's really worth going to if it's something like it's a standalone thing uh not necessarily something that you need to trip over but it's a nice holiday feel um lights simulated or simulcast with the radio it's a nice nice night out but for now we're getting out of here thanks a lot for coming along thank you very much for all of your likes comments and subscriptions treat others the way you want to be treated have a great day see you guys